we hear a lot about variants of coronavirus, but we don't hear a lot about how prevalent different variants are here in the state of Utah. It turns out, just like so many other things, we get our share of viruses with neighbors, but just next door from state to state. Fox 13's Max Roth goes in depth for us this afternoon. Sometimes we humans like to think of ourselves as separate from the natural world. We exist in our minds, but a virus proves us wrong better than just about anything. These swirly lines on a map from the Nature Conservancy show how animal migrations will need to shift with climate change. We humans can be mapped by language, as Josh Katz showed us in his book Speaking American. The American South and East Coast put caramel, not caramel, on their ice cream. Talking to a group, we say, you guys. Everyone from Texas East and South says, y'all. COVID is showing us how much viruses follow geography. California has a homegrown variant, B1427 and B1429. And yes, as California goes, so goes the West. It's the biggest strain on the coast and through to Utah. Not many Texans or Floridians have it, and it's barely made a mark in New York. The UK variant, B117, is the most common nationwide, but it's a distant second to California. It is on its way, moving from Colorado and Idaho through Utah. It's dominating, though, east of the Rockies, half the cases in Florida, and propelling Michigan's worst in the nation outbreak. But not New York yet. Like California, their variant, B1526 and 1525, that's homegrown just like their pronunciation of crayfish, instead of what we know as the real way, crawfish. The UK variant will most likely become dominant because it seems to be more transmissible than the others already here. But looking at the map, you realize that we are who we are and what we are in large part because of where we are. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, 